Hello. Hello and welcome to Story Tip and the second part of the small tutorial how to repair a broken rod. In the first part I showed you how to, pre to uh, prepare the broken pieces to get them uh, glued together and today I will show you what is important with this spigot or ferrule or how you want to call it uh, which is to be glued in uh, under the broken section and let's start and here uh, is now this piece which we prepared in our last video and this part will be glued in to strengthen the power of this part to hold it together as you can see we don't need the full length of this uh, part because it needs only to help in this section where the rods where the rod will be connected that means we can cut it out we can cut it before we glue it in approximately here that means we mark uh, the we mark it here outside with a small piece of tape And then we can cut it right here. Here we will cut it. Now after we cut it and before we glue it in, we use a uh, rough sandpaper and just break the surface a little bit. Clean it with alcohol. Let's try it again. Okay, you can see it is not necessary to strengthen this part of the uh, you can see that that hang is over the connection. Okay, let's glue. Before we glue that in, I told you to clean it with alcohol. side okay The epoxy is mixed one to one. You can use any kind of uh, epoxy glue which you can get in your country. One, two, the A and B together, then mix it. Just to make sure you get the glue inside here. So that is now all for the moment. Not necessary to clean that. You could clean it, but it's not really necessary because you, we will grind it anyway here before we glue in. To cure the epoxy, if you have ever worked with epoxy, you know that it is very necessary to put heat on it during the time uh, of the uh, when it cures. This uh, the heat. Of approximately 40 to 50 uh, degrees Celsius uh, 
battery is 70 to 80 degree you can uh, use uh, a, a lamp uh, a red light lamp I don't know how you, how you say it it's just a, a heat lamp I show you so this is the lamp and let it cure approximately half an hour an hour once the glue is uh, cured we can take the next step uh, the connect the connection of the both parts uh, will be in two uh, steps that means first we glue in this part into the tip section or the the, the upper section and, and this is for the reason that uh, the glue can run in uh, direction to the spigot we, we here glue in therefore we hold that part upwards turn it out again put more glue inside you can use also a heat source like that one because the the glue gets thinner by heat okay and then slowly so you can see that the glue is running down and fills the entire piece okay here we go now we have to clean that piece here we'll use sandpaper later but and now again very important is to position it here and get heat in this section here as I told you before you need uh, between 40 50 best would be around 80 degree okay depending on which epoxy you are using uh, approximately half an hour an hour under heat the uh, epoxy should have been cured and now you can we can make the next step uh, to join together the broken piece now we prepare that again with sandpaper and very important what we need is also the next part of the rod and we certainly would need the broken piece I just try it again if it fits yes it fits and uh, now we can cut off this piece which we glued in to strengthen this uh, part and um, very important before we glue anything together is to clean it I use uh, a pipe cleaner that is really very important to clean that inside where we glue in now the central part Uh, you will need the next part that helps you to straighten this repair section uh, in the total of the rod you can use you can now try it again if it fits in when the ferrule is stuck in yes okay here we go we'll try how much space we will still have left and that and we put it together you see we have one centimeter left here space in between okay now let's put on the glue the same way as before Hi Michael. Hi, hi. Mr. Cameraman is coming. Yeah, I've got, I've got packages for you. Oh, you got packages? Good package. That's great, yeah. Okay. That's for my friend in Austria. 
So, okay. Now we put the glue to the to this part inside here and always hold it up like that so the, the uh, glue runs always down in the direction to the connection never turn it that way because it runs where you want to put in the next part and that would be fatal okay now we use heat again just to make sure there are no air bubbles inside okay here you go the excess of the epoxy we can clean now comes a very important part clean the fingers wherever you can have epoxy on this is what you will find on the blank as well so clean the whole blank again if you have the feeling that you touched it somewhere okay and now we put together the two pieces look through it now you can see it turns a little bit to the left you can still push it until it's really straight it looks quite good already okay then we need to position the blank in that angle so that uh, uh, the heat burns on it and the glue gets thinner and fills all the gaps in case there were any one, Im one important thing is before the glue uh, cures out completely you should always control if it remained straight this section because in case it goes to the left or to the right uh, you can still use heat and uh, straighten the blank out so this one is pretty straight I think it is straighter than it was <laughs> Anyway, uh, now let's put it back into the oven and wait until it's completely uh, cured. So in the next and final part of this uh, video uh, tutorial about uh, how to repair a broken rod, I will show you to the use of uh, the carbon fiber roving and uh, how to finish the, the, uh, the whole repair part. And uh, now I hope this was helpful for you, this video, and looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, bye.